Welcome to... Don't eat that, dumbass! Fucking Mushroom Hunting with Sean. Today we're hunting mushrooms with this fun guy, Dr. Gordon Walker, fascinated by fungi. Two things about Gordon. He really is a fucking fun guy, and he really knows his shit. Speaking of shit, I learned a shit ton from him today. Way more than my brain could absorb. It's like throwing spaghetti at the fucking wall, only it's a mushroom this time. First things first, if you want a mushroom hunt in my neck of the woods, you gotta meat tractor your ass up the mountain. We found this adorable little fucking hedgehog with which I proceeded to tongue. This is the witch's hat. So I think okay. it's Hygrosibe singeri is the species, um, although there's a bunch of different ones, so it's kind of hard to tell. But they're really, really slippery like this, so you can give them a nice little stroke. Um, and you see how it's like staining black a little bit? As this mushroom gets older, it'll turn completely black and kind of fan out, and that's why they give the name witch's hat, because it looks like a little witch's hat. This is how you get a little witch's hat excited. All right. Here's an adorable little fucking parrot waxy cap, one of Dr. Walker's favorite mushrooms. So this is some sort of tricholoma. Maybe not. Now it's got these sort of like pretty waxy strong gills, a little bit of a fibrous stipe. Doesn't really smell like bleach. Um, so it's hard to tell exactly what this is, but pretty cool, pretty solid. Some taps on it. You can't always tell in the field what something is, so remember, friends don't let friends eat fucking unidentified mushrooms. My guess is oh, some kind of waxy cap. It's probably, honestly, it might even be the, the parrot waxy cap. Glyphorus, Glyphorus. See, it's like white space gills. Um, it's super viscid and wet. Uh, and the, the parrots are usually green, but they can turn orange when they get a little warm, so because it hasn't been super cold. We had a good day tromping around the woods, and Dr. Walker was very accommodating, allowing me to pick his brain about mushrooms and social media. He's got one million fucking followers on TikTok, after all. And as seems to happen up here, we dove into the meaning of fucking existence, and got that all figured out, too. Um, this, whatever this big, white, nasty mushroom yeah. was a nasty talking. I can tell that because this, um, the kind of, the way the base looks. Right. And I'm not going to smell this, but when it was young, it would have been... There's a bit of a lull in mushrooms popping up in my area at the moment. Some of the shit we found was getting fucking nasty. All right, so we got a little shrimp here. We're gonna uncover it, and whoa, we got a real gross, nasty rustla. You can tell it's a rustla because it's super brittle and it's full spring tails. That's disgusting. Don't eat that. <laughs> Good fucking advice. But even though there's a lull, that doesn't mean fucking devoid. Life is everywhere if you know how to find it, and Gordon definitely knows how to fucking find it and tweak it and shit. Tweak, tweak. Well, that's all we can fit into three minutes, but stay tuned for more episodes of our exploits. And in the meantime, remember, don't fucking eat that, dumbass.